touched on some good things there as far as like buying, selling, and then making sure it all goes smoothly. Where I suppose I'm setting up for this this question, which is I know a lot of people are starting to make a business out of buying and selling, and it's that whole idea of you know becoming the the Warren Buffett of the online world, yeah. where you can buy web businesses, whether you add it to your own portfolio or the potential to sell it. I don't know. You're probably going to have the best insight here. Yeah. Are people making a business out of buying and selling, and and what are your thoughts on if if that's a viable business model? Sure. There's, there's certainly there's certainly a couple of different um, levels, I guess. Uh, there's I do personally know some sellers that are selling startup sites, so startup blogs, and by startup I mean so anything under five hundred dollars. Um, uh, there are people that are that are selling five to six of those sites a week. Uh, and making a living out of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Stay-at-home mums, people that are just sick of their job, they, uh, I've met them, they are actually doing it. Um, then you come to uh, essentially the, the investors that, that, that um, you know, like the real estate analogy, they take something that's run down but they can see some potential in it um, and they do it up and flip it. They sell it off and, um, and, and make some money out of it. Um, and you know that can be once again it comes down to your skill set. If you're a web designer and you see a an average looking site on Flipper that might have some decent traffic, um, a little bit of revenue, uh, you can perhaps redesign it, make it look a lot a lot nicer. Um, make, that makes it attractive to buyers as well. Um, yeah. So, or if you're an SEO guy, you know, once again going back to the other analogy, if you're um, you know a, a good keyword domain, a little bit of traffic, a little bit of page rank. Um, um, might be monetized. Well, you know, if you're an SEO guy, you can go and build some more backlinks to that site and um, increase the value. Yeah, it's definitely something that I see there's huge opportunity there. Um, for the different opportunities uh, popping up on Flipper, do you have any tips or suggestions on, like, I mean, you're very much in the space of buying and selling websites. I don't know, whatever's coming down the horizon, where do you see big opportunity for people, buyers or sellers in yeah. there? you know, some advice on maybe, hey, here are some things that you should be focusing on. Yeah, so certainly um, some of the things that uh, have happened fairly recently, uh, I know one of your former guests, Kenny Goodman, um, is, uh, has released a product uh, uh, that, that helps people find aged domains, um, that, you know, it's domains that, have, that might have some page rank, they've been registered for, you know, say four years. I certainly think that um, from a seller's perspective, Finding those domains and finding some keyword domains that already have uh, page rank and backlinks, and then um, you know rebuilding a site around those certainly help it get indexed obviously quicker, uh, particularly if it's um, a lot of them do obviously have dropped out of Google's index. Um, but you know you, you, you're already starting from a platform of value because you've got some backlinks and you might have mm. some page rank to that domain. Um, so certainly that's. That's, uh, I think that's going to be big in the, in the coming 6 to 12 months. Um, people will start buying uh, dropped, expired domain names um, and rebuilding a site around those. Yeah. The other thing as well, um, what are your thoughts on the way that the market is going to evolve? Because at the moment it's a very illiquid market, even though you're creating that marketplace relative to, let's say, from where I come from, the stock market, where it's very much, you know, the price is set by the market. Where money is is made is is typically where there's like an inefficiency in these liquid markets where you can buy at something where you see some potential like you were talking about the real estate analogy and then flipping it at a higher price for you know the years that are coming down the track do you see those opportunities shrinking or only getting bigger because as the market gets more educated mm. the opportunities will start to shrink just by nature of like arbitrage i i think by necessity it will become more liquid. But I mean, obviously, one of the one of the difficulties in this market is um, is the knowledge that's required to, you know, um, people need to uh, to learn about you know hosting and registering domains and transferring domains. Uh, and there is there is a little bit of a barrier to entry uh, and a bit of a learning curve. Um, I certainly believe that there will be. There will be services that will appear around the market that make it easier for um, an investor who has um, little idea about hosting domains to be able to to start trading the market, and I think that will happen out of necessity because you know there's 
there's a lot of there's a lot of sites out there that, that people have been sitting on for maybe years. They're ticking over. They might be getting a lot of traffic, a lot of page rank, um, and uh, I, I, I sort of think that some ancillary services will develop around the marketplace um, yeah. that uh, that help those people essentially trade uh, trade those assets yeah. uh, and help make them more liquid. I guess. Yeah. I can see like you're very much uh, on the forefront as far as the buying and selling being that right in that space. Um, are there any other people that you like to keep tabs on to just see what's going on in, in that space? Obviously, we mentioned Ed Dale's yeah. quite big into the buying and selling. Are there yeah. any other people that are worth keeping an eye on? Yeah, look, there, there's um, certainly from uh, the higher end investors' point of view, there's a, uh, there's a forum called Experienced People. Um, there's uh, some investors over there that that, that chat uh, a lot about um, buying and selling. Um, really, just just check out the forums, and you'll you'll um, uh, obviously SitePoint as well, uh, SitePoint forums as well. Um, Kenny, Kenny, yeah. Kenny, <laughs> Kenny, sort of certainly as a domainer. Um, yeah. Kenny's done some good videos recently around investing in in age domains uh, at uh, on the Market Samurai site. Yeah. site. Um, so check out Market Samurai. Um, Obviously, Ed Dale, um, and there's, there, there are there's certainly more and more each week. I see people developing uh, educational products around buying and selling sites, and these these guys have sort of flown under the radar, you know, buying and selling sites, and now they're deciding to um, to educate the market as well, which you yeah. know we think's fantastic. Um, it's sort of you know it's like it's like um, in the early days, you know, eBay started as a marketplace, and there and now. Um, a secondary marketplace has, has sort of started out at eBay with people educating people around buying and selling. Yeah. Um, and um, we at the moment don't have the, the time and resources to produce all that material. Um, yeah. So it's great that other people are. And also I think you know, people, um, people find it refreshing to hear from a third party. You know, they, they don't always trust that the people that run the marketplace can give them the best advice. Um, so yeah, there's there's um, there are guys out there that are doing some good stuff, and we do have a, a resources section uh, when you when you set an account with with Flipper, There's a resource section in there, and we're continually adding um, uh, products that we recommend, products and people that uh, we recommend. So check that out as well. And well worth checking out the Flipper blog, which is flipper.com forward slash blog. That's right. I don't yeah. know if you're the one posting on there. but I am mainly. Yeah, yeah. There, there's some really good info, info on there. Yeah. Like um, one of the things I found interesting recently was um, you were posting different keywords and the clearance rates for domain names with yeah. those keywords. Yeah, certainly if you're a seller, um, we have a... A tags page that um, that shows how uh, how people have tagged all their auctions, and it actually shows that the clearance rates around particular particular tags established, is, ClickBank ready, e-book, e-commerce, yeah, ebook. Yeah. Uh, so there's a few opportunities like that. So I think checking out the the, the flipper.com blog. Yeah. If people want to keep an eye on what you're doing, do you have a, a blog, or is that the yeah, best no, place I, to find I, you? I have uh, a personal blog that uh, I occasionally post on called LukeMalton.com. Fantastic. So, yeah, if you uh, if you want to check out a regular post there, you can. Excellent. We might wrap up. Thank you right. very much for your time. Thanks, David. And you guys need to make sure you head over to flipper.com, get yourself an account. It's free. Jump in there, and uh, you'll see me in the marketplace. See you guys. Cheers.